Hello! Today we are going to see how to use Git with the ROS development studio. This is interesting in case that you are working with other people and that you have to synchronize with them and maybe they are using or they are not using the ROS development studio, they are using their own development tools, but you have to synchronize your code with theirs. So the way of doing it is by using Git, as you probably know. So how can we use that in the ROS development studio? Very simple, you'll see. Let's go first and create a new repository on a Git. In our case, it's Bitbucket. So we go here, create a new repository. Let's assign this to me. And then um, uh, Ricardo testing, for example. OK, so let's create this repository. And here we have, I have, I'm starting from scratch, let's assume. So we have here the instructions in order to initialize the Git. OK, so far so good. We have the Git repository created. And then here we go to the construct and let's assume that we want to start this as a new project inside the ROS development studio. For that case, let's create a new project that is going to be based on Gazebo 7. And let's call my uh, testing project, for example, and create. OK, here we have it. Then let's open it. So we open this project by pressing this key and launching. And then after a few seconds, we'll have the project opened with an empty simulation associated to it. So here we go. As you probably know, this is the development environment, uh, the IDE where we are going to edit anything. This is a notebook where we can put some notes about the project, how it works, how the simulations, I'm going to hide it because we are go not going to need it. And here the simulation will appear. In the meantime, we can already start working. And the first thing that I will do is to use the shell here. Let me put it a little bit bigger so we can see it easier. Is uh, to synchronize with the Git that we have created here. OK, so let's go. I have to go to the Catkin workspace and then source. And here where there is only this simulation gazebo empty package, that is this one here, that you can see here. So we are going to put our git here. So the command is this one. And I'm going to copy paste here. And so it is. Here is my password. And then OK we have cloned the empty repository. So now we have here my empty repository that contains nothing. Uh, this is just an example. Of course, the simulation also contains nothing because it's an empty new project. And if here, what do we have? This is Ricardo testing and the empty um, package. So if we go to Ricardo testing, we have nothing. But we can create our first uh, package for this ROS project, for example. So we use the catkin, create package, and let's call first package uh, that depends on ROS Pi, for example. OK, great, created. We have it here at Ricardo testing. And this will be, so here inside the source, we'll put some uh, new files. Uh, uh, for example, testing.py uh, that contains, uh, I don't know, print, uh, hello. OK, it's just a test. Now, if we come here back, we can do a git status and we'll see what is the status that we have created this new package. So let's add this to our git first package. And let's commit it. Oh, I'm going to commit minus m. So creating my first package. 
Okay, committing, and then I'm going to push it. Push. Here it is my password. Okay, done. So everything that I have created here should be appear here in the source of this Ricardo testing. And here it is, my first package with my CMake package, source, my testing, and then inside print hello. So that's it that simple so you can work here in the same way as you will work in in a desktop environment but this is totally synchronized with your git uh, what happens that you can save it and when you save it in rds of course yes i replace it will save with the git structure so anytime that you come back to here you will have what your last uh, time that you uh, you came here but you can synchronize at any time so in case that you have another developer that has added some code here you can come here and then do a git pull origin master and then uh, of course there is nothing now but uh, you would get the changes of your friend of your colleague also, another thing is that uh, when you come here, because you have my testing project, you can directly share with another user inside the ROS development studio. You can share this project, and this person will have already the, the full project in ROS development studio. It will not have to think, um, to create a gate, etc. So it will receive everything, and his code will be also synchronized with git so that's all i hope this is clear it's a very simple way of using git in ros development studio hope you like it uh, i will put some links and resources beneath this video and if you have questions you can put it also beneath please if you like it subscribe and uh, put some thumbs up in our video it's been a pleasure to have you here cheers